better do a wee bit of pre-exercise. Right, it's every minute on the minute. If you're unrecorded, you're warmed up, you're good to go before you even go any further. If not, hit the pause button. Everybody on live, you are warm. I want you practicing these exercises. I don't care how many months or years you've been doing them, you practice them, you get them in your head so that when the first rep comes up, it's perfect. I want you to perform a lie down stand up. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. Get it done properly. Okay, two variations of this. Decent mobility is going to look like this. I want you to strive even if your mobility is not too great. If you can only squat to a little bit of depth, what you can do is fall back and kick out. That's core, that's controlled. I'm lying back, I'm throwing my arms forwards. See how much easier it is? Well, you can't really see it because I'm sure that you can't appreciate it. But if you throw your arms forward hard, you're going to create enough momentum to help carry you up. Okay, if you're going slow as hell, it's in you're down and you're going, oh. Okay, there's nothing there. Zero momentum, and it's a lot harder, okay? When you're fresh, it doesn't feel it, but you're dumping a lot of energy. So lie down stand-ups. If you've got decent mobility, I expect you to squat, kick out, lie, throw forward, up, squeeze the butt, okay? That's what I expect. Mobility, if you don't have such great mobility, maybe lie down on one leg first, but make sure you're not always going up and down on the same leg all the time, okay? We want to try and create a nice balanced workforce. Mountain climbers, let's get these right today, everybody. Mountain climbers, I don't like them because they're hard. A lot of people find them really easy, and that's fine, but a lot of the time, people that find them easy aren't quite doing them right. So let's get practicing. Get into the full press-up position first. Start them slow. Pull your knee all the way up to try and get it in line with your hands, and then kick it back out, putting your feet together. All the way in, all the way out, all the way in, then, we do it with the dynamic ones, okay? Problem is, people go dynamic and they lift their hips up. They look like me right now, okay? Not a lot of core work going on there. If you're doing these correctly, you're gonna feel that core firing up big time. So they should be tough. Happy with that? If you're doing odds, you're, well, if you're doing odds, you are. <laughs> if it's an odd number, it's gonna be eight lie down stand-ups straight into 30 mountain climbers. Are you happy with that pairing, everybody? Yes? Okay, now. Everybody else, well, not everybody else, even numbers, even numbers. You're going to be doing eight burpees, okay? Watch me now, a burpee. I'm out, I kick all the way out. I want you to look like this again, full press up position. It's going to be a very common movement, yeah, a very common position we'll be in this morning. Full press up position, in, boom, up, okay? I want you up like a shot, be fast, jump out. If you try your hardest, to drive through these arms as you're bringing the feet in to replace the hands, you're going to find it easier to get up. Again, a lot of energy gets dumped because people go like this. They don't jump in so far and then they've got to try and use all this to get up. <sighs> Slow time. If you jump forward with your feet trying to replace your hands, you're going to have a hell of a lot of stored energy. What is this this morning? Is this just everybody watching me or something? Get practicing. Okay, if you're standing there with your hands on your hips wondering what to do, you should be practicing. I'm not doing this for the goodness of my heart. Right, second exercise for even is press-ups. Same movement pattern. Full press-up position is where we all start. If you're going to do press-ups on the knees, we drop them exactly where they are. Then we're going to pull the ground towards us. Then we're going to punch the ground away from us. If I'm doing full press-ups, it's exactly the same. Pull, punch, pull the ground, punch. Happy with that? I want good quality press-ups. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this this morning, okay? If I see it, we're going to hit the pause button and I'm going to call out the person's name and tell you to do them properly before we resume any further. Are we clear? Quality press-ups only this morning. No crap. Right, that's all you need to know going forwards. Odds, you're going to do eight lie-down stand-ups, 30 mountain climbers, okay, without a rest. If it's an even number, you're going to do eight burpees with 10 press-ups straight after it. We're going to be spending a lot of time on these arms this morning, so if your chest, shoulder and arms are burning like hell, you're not the only one, okay? Remember that. Going forward, that's all you need to know. 30 seconds, we're going to begin. Oh, yes. Right, now here's a note. Beginners, as in you, are, you cannot, if you cannot complete eight lie-down stand-ups or eight burpees in time, then you drop a couple reps off, that's down to you. It's because you hit failure, as in you cannot make the time. It's not because you can't be arsed or things are getting a little bit tired or you're losing enthusiasm, okay? It's because you're hitting failure before the buzzer goes. In five seconds, we're on minute number one. Eight lie down stand up, 30 mountain climbers, let's kick this show off, let's give it everything, let's go.
I want you lying flat. I want you standing up tall. I want you to feel the butt squeeze as you stand up. Activate those glutes. Now, you really don't have time to waste this morning. This is going to take most people the full minute almost. So get all your reps done. Be fast. Don't hold back. Thirty mountain climbers when you've done your eight lie down stand ups. Remember what I said: strict mountain climbers only. When you're done, you stand up. You do all your reps. You've still got ten seconds. This is where you know if you need to drop reps off. Five seconds, eight burpees, ten press ups. If you have not completed yet. Drop a lie down, stand up off next time. Stand by, go, eight burpees. No jump. Eight burpees, no jump. Therefore, make sure you are jumping all the way out. Make sure you're standing up tall. Do not give yourself crap reps. 10 press ups after this. Stacks of time, 35 seconds. Focus on your breathing all the time. Keep working hard if you're still working. Most people should manage eight burpees and 10 press ups. The only thing most people will struggle with is eight lie down stand ups, 30 mountain climbers. Like I said, if you fail to complete, make it seven lie down stand ups. Eight lie down stand ups, 30 mountain climbers. You do not have time to waste. If you're only getting Five seconds or 10 seconds rest, doesn't matter because most of us are. Focus on the minute you're on. Don't think about 30 minutes. Keep in control of your head, work it hard. It's a simple choice. Doesn't matter how fit you are, just work and get the reps done. Thirty mountain climbers. Good. Let's do it. Burpees, eight burpees, eight burpees. So you saw there, I got hee haw rest. So don't whinge about it. Get it done. If you're looking for easy, surely by now, you know you're at the wrong place. Make sure these burpees are nothing short than perfect. 10 press ups. Good, 15 seconds. Breathe. Okay, so this now would normally be pretty tough. Minute number five, we're gonna do 45 seconds of high knees. Three, two, one, go. But as far as this circuit's concerned, look at this, it's been easy, because it probably is. Get yourself in the zone, get these knees up, and work hard. Not meant to be easy this morning. I'm trying to put most of you in the hot locker pretty early. And let's see who can fight through it. Who can keep the mental composure? Who can drown out the voices in their head that's telling them, oh, this is a bit hard for me. Maybe I'll just take it easy. Maybe I'll just stop. Maybe I'll just not bother. Get bothering. Five seconds. Come on, everyone. Relax. 15 seconds to breathe. Make sure you breathe. Minute number six is even. Eight burpees, 10 press ups. Three, two, one, let's go.
Make sure you're jumping all the way out. Make sure you're standing up as tall as you can. Squeeze the butt. Squeeze the butt. Ten press ups after this. And you'll feel it. You'll feel these arms, chest and shoulder, getting tired. Pretty rapido. Stand by. Eight lie down stand ups, 30 mountain climbers. If you are failing to meet the time, then you drop off a lie down stand up. If you're struggling, if you're finding it hard, suck it up and get on with it, okay? If you're making the time, keep going. Don't choose the easy road. Go, eight lie down stand ups. Now you know, you don't have time to stop and breathe. You don't have time to think about it. You've got enough time to throw yourself in to the next rep and get it done. Thirty mountain climbers when you're done that. Come on, twenty five seconds. Good work. Five seconds. So if you're not if you're not finished on time, this is where I would say drop a lie down, stand up off. Eight burpees. So if you're lucky, you get 10 seconds rest. But most of you, myself included, probably aren't even getting that. And that's fine, because we're here to work. And we already know, well most of you, that the hard work pays off. Easy work, nah, not so much. Let's hit it hard, let's get it done. Keep working hard, 10 press ups. Good. Five seconds, everyone. Eight lie down stand ups. 30 mountain climbers. If you're doing seven or six lie down stand ups, that's fine. Okay? If you've scaled it back so that you can complete it before the buzzer goes, that's fine. Don't scale it back to make it easier. Scale it back so that you can actually do it. But if you've scaled it back and you're finishing with more than 10 seconds on the clock, then you need to have a word with yourself. Good work, five seconds. Dig deep everyone. Minute number 10. 10 squats, 10 squats. 10 tuck jumps, 10 squats, 10 tuck jumps. I want your best squats. Don't give you crap. Don't give me crap, don't give you crap. Ten tuck jumps, good ones, okay? If you're struggling, don't try and bash them out at once. Focus on your landing. Make sure your landing is soft and absorbed. Fifteen seconds. Good work, everyone. Don't think about it too much. Lungs on fire, muscles on fire, so's mine. Minute number 11. Eight lie down stand ups, go. We don't have time to waste. 
Yes, well, legs on there are a wee bit more tired, but that doesn't matter. Focus on the task at hand, get it done. Remember those arms, smashing them forward. It's gonna help get you up. Thirty mountain climbers, when you're ready, you don't have time. Straight in, come on. Eight burpees, ten press ups, ten seconds. Come on, everyone. To listen to the voices, push through them. You ready? Come on. Eight burpees. Accept the fact it's not easy and deal with it. A lot of the time people feel that something's hard. It's beyond their capability. And they accept that. And they give up or give in way too early when in actual fact they're more than capable of it. They're just not shouting loud enough in their head that they are. Eight burpees, 10 press ups. If you managed it in the first round, you can manage it now. Just have to dig deep. Come on, keep grinding, keep working, keep pushing yourself. Five seconds. Eight lie down stand ups. Go straight into it. If you've just finished your press ups, doesn't matter. Go. Don't have time to waste. Don't drop lie down stand ups off in an effort to get more rest. You drop the reps off only when you cannot make it to finish on time. If you go, and the buzzer goes and you're straight into the next exercise. So be it. <sighs> 10 press ups, 20 seconds, come on. <sighs> keep working, keep grinding, five seconds. Go. Yep. I got it the wrong way around. <laughs> Eight burpees, 10 press ups. Or if you just copied me and done eight lie down stand ups and 10 press ups, make sure you do your mountain climbers now. So if you see me doing mountain climbers, because I've done the last round wrong. Stand by, high knees. Minute number 15. If you are struggling, as in really struggling, take a look at me, okay? Take a look at me. High knees, don't feel sorry for yourself. No one else is, work hard, get through it. Think how good you're gonna feel for getting through this. Because you know right now, it's one hell of a workout. It's disgusting. You're capable of it. Most people quit way before. Their bodies are even ready to. Let's get these knees up. Good. It's a high knee jog. Okay, not a march. Five seconds. Relax. Breathe while you can. Minute number 16. Oh. Eight burpees. 10 press ups. Stand by. Come on. It's 
So hot, I'm struggling to breathe. So hot, my body's nagging. I'm just going to keep going. Another rep. And then another one, until I'm done. Everybody's capable of it. Come on. Eight lie down stand ups in 15 seconds. You've got the time. Make sure your press ups are the best. Don't let quality go. Five seconds. You know we're nearly there. Okay, we need to get to minute 22. Come on, let's go. We don't have time to waste. Again, if you're just finishing the last round, doesn't matter. Get the rest of the day to rest. Earn it. Keep going, 20 seconds, 30 mountain climbers, get them done. Lie down stand ups, no, burpees, burpees, sorry, burpees. Oxygen's not getting to my head anymore. Eight burpees. Come on, everyone. Dig deep. Don't be a quitter. If your muscles have hit complete failure and you cannot get up, that's fine. Then you can throw the towel in. Chances are you just feel like quitting because it's hard. You want to get back to that nice comfortable zone you were in before you started this. We're all going to be back in that zone. Differences. Some of us are going to feel pretty damn good about myself and others are going to feel let down. Shouldn't have quit. Shouldn't have taken it easy when I did. Let's go. Keep working. Lie down, stand up. Most of us will be getting zero rest. Doesn't matter. I want you to keep your thoughts in your head. Disconnect what your body's sending up to you and just keep going. Sing a little song in your head if you need to. Distract yourself. You do not have time for anything other than to get up and get straight back down. 30 mountain climbers, get them done. Five seconds. Stand by. 10 squats, 10 squats. 10 tuck jumps, best squats you can do. Control the squats. Do your best to control your breathing. Keep going, come on. Fifteen seconds. If you've made it this far, you have zero reason to throw the towel in now. Minute twenty-one. Eight lie down stand-ups. Thirty mountain climbers. Three, two, go. Come on. Cole's tired. Legs tired. Doesn't matter. This is the last eight. 
the last thing you're going to do, and I promise you that. Dig deep. All in it together. So don't feel that you're all on your own. Don't feel that the hurt and pain is yours alone. Get on with it. Everyone else is. Or they should be. Come on everyone, 30 mountain climbers, no time to waste, when that buzzer goes, 8 burpees, it'll be the last one, <sighs> 8 burpees, I do not care if you've had no rest, I haven't, let's go, 8 burpees, Dig real deep, everyone. <sighs> Muster up that strength and get it done. Because the reason why you can't, other than whatever baloney you want to tell yourself. And we're all pretty good at that. Talking myself out of it. 10 press ups, get job done. Good work. Stand by. Heel taps. Set up position. 20 heel taps. Work with me. Make sure your chest and upper body is off the ground. Make sure your feet are far away enough to make it challenging. As in, don't look like me. Don't look like me. Have to reach. Heel tap. 20 in total. As soon as you're done, 10 dorsal raises. Upper body only. Lift up, squeeze, down. You've got 30 seconds left. Stacks the time. This is it now. This stuff is easy now. It's all core work, right to the end. Get them done. I want you focusing on that contraction at the top, even if it means you finish and that buzzer goes. Don't rush your reps. On your feet when you're ready, five seconds everyone. High knees, the last time. I don't expect this. Okay, go. Speed, height, everything. Drive the arms. Minute 25, we've got here everyone. We've made it. Five minutes of core work and your day's done. Push it hard, don't make this easy. Breathe. If you're struggling to breathe, keep struggling to breathe. Don't give in. Yep, it hurts. Yeah, your lungs are burning. Yep, you're tired. But you can do so much more beyond this point. You need to realize that. How do you realize it? By keep pushing. Take your limit further. Take your boundary further. Stop. Elbow plank, elbow plank, stand by, go, in the position, feet together, knees together, knees squeezed, feet squeezed, core squeezed, okay, this is tough, it's not easy, if it's easy, check your position of your hips, squeeze the core harder, brace, 10 seconds, this is giving you the perfect chance to Get the composure back in. Get your head, wind it in. Okay, lying on your backs, go. Hands on the butt, flutter kicks, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy. Oh my word. Good work, keep working. And yes, I made another boo-boo, but it doesn't matter, because it still works. Just means we've done high knees a bit earlier, okay? Stand by. So we're doing with 10 squats and we're 10 tuck jumps. 
One, land soft. Two, land soft. Three, land soft. Okay, if you can go fast, that's fine. But if you're doing what I'm doing now, getting it to that height, and you can go fast and still achieve that, that's fine. Okay, but we're trying to land light. Teach yourself that. Doesn't matter your body composition nonsense. Land soft on the toes. Boom. Okay, if you've still got tuck jumps to do. Oh. Do not lie down, do not stand up. Every minute on the minute, I want you to give me one more minute of your life. And I want you to walk around. If you don't have the room to walk around, walk on the spot. Now I want you to, regardless of your breathing, <laughs> big breath in. <sighs> Two complete exhalations out, get it all out. Repeat. I want you to shake out your arms, get rid of the lactic acid, give them a good shake, same with the legs. Okay, I want you to walk around and at the bare minimum, give me at least this before you disappear on your merry way. Right, this is what we call the end. <laughs> and this is also what you call the reality check, okay? This is the exact time, the pain, the suffering, the discomfort's finished. You can see clear all of a sudden again. And you know when you look back, okay, and this is not me having a dig at those people who can't work out whether they're working hard enough or not. If you were given that your all and you were hardly getting any rest because you were working so hard, okay, as in... <sighs> throwing yourself into a rep in that kind of state, good. Doesn't matter how fit you are, okay? It's about effort level, it's about intensity, and it's about you just digging deep and getting a grip of yourself and just throwing yourself into it instead of just giving a half-assed attempt because either you don't feel like it or something up here is telling you to, oh, it's a bit hard this for me, okay? Maybe I'll just tone it down, okay? Bull crap, okay? Everybody's capable of it. Everybody's capable of pushing themselves hard. And I guarantee now, as I always say, really fit people that find it a breeze probably aren't putting in as much effort as the least fit person, okay? Not always the case, okay, of course. I'm just using that as an example for those of you who maybe really, really, really struggled with that. There's a difference, okay? There's a difference between struggling and putting in 100% and struggling because you're not putting in much work and you're just letting this head rule you, okay? A lot of people come up with the usual crap, they look at other people doing well, other people smashing through it and they just look at them as if they're on some other level that they weren't born onto, okay? Chances are those people have just been pushing themselves hard for a bit longer, they're used to it, they're used to the discomfort. When they enter the pain cave, they just think, oh, here we are again, let's get this done and let's get out of this thing. But a lot of other people take a wee footstep into the pain cave, they don't like it, they quit. They throw the towel in, they don't want to keep going hard, okay? And then they come up with all these bullcrap excuses about, oh, they're not good enough, or oh, it's all right for them because, insert here, okay? Heard it all before, hear it on a daily basis. You'll hear me talk about it over and over again, and even more so on tonight's post. Take accountability for yourself, your fitness, and how you take your day to day, okay? Don't blame other people. Push yourself hard. If one person can do it, there's no reason why you can't. Yep, some people are better than others, but like I say, the people that are better have probably just been pushing themselves a bit harder for a bit longer, and they're a bit more used to the effects of it, okay? So please, muster up the strength to keep pushing yourself hard. If you feel unfit, maybe you are unfit, okay? But guess what happens when you work hard and you push through the pain? You get fitter, okay? What happens when you get into the pain cave and you decide to run back out with your tail between your legs? You don't get better, okay? Simple as that. Hopefully, you enjoyed that this morning, now that it's done. Okay, that was brutal. For me, anyway, again, I speak for myself, that was horrible. I felt, found that pretty disgusting. I was getting literally no rest at all. So please, if you were in that boat, it's normal, okay? That was meant to be tough this morning. And if you had to drop reps off, don't feel like you're failing, don't feel like that's a bad thing. The point is, I was trying to tell you, don't just choose the easy road. If I just say to people, drop reps off, sometimes people see that, they see the carrot dangling and they grab it, okay? So if you had to drop reps off, that's fine, okay? Don't think of yourself as less superior. As long as when you drop those reps, reps off, you were still working hard, you were still struggling to finish on time, and you didn't just drop the reps off to make it easier, okay? Anyway, the screens are all frozen, they have been, I hope. Hope you're all still there, and maybe you've all disconnected at minute number two, and I've just done that all by myself, ranting away. <laughs>